friends. We are your teachers here at Pre Kites. My name is Miss Black. And I am Mrs. Mugabe. And we are so sad that we can't have you here with us today or tomorrow or even next week. But guess what? We're so excited to be able to share with you lots of exciting stories through videos every day, Monday to Thursday. So we hope you can log on and you can see us and we will be telling you lots of different stories about lots of different things and we can't wait. Have fun! Hi friends, we're going to start our days off with the Good Morning Song and the Good Morning Song is in both Kenya Rwanda and English. So Mrs Mugabe and Miss Black are going to sing it for you now and then you feel free to join in as you learn it and we're going to play it for you most of the days that we're together. So let me just press play. Here we go. Muraho, Muraho, hello, hello, Muraho, hello. Very nice to meet you. I'm a Kuru, I'm a Kuru. So we're talking about friends this week, friends that we can see and be with and friends that we can't always see and be with. I'm sure you have some friends that don't live in Rwanda and maybe you talk to them on the computer and that you can't see them all the time, but they're still your friends, right? And God loves to give us friends. And do you know what? God's word, the Bible, tells us that a friend loves at all times. So in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17, that's the, the verse that it says, a friend loves at all times. We're going to learn that verse this week. Do you think you could say it with me? You ready? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times. I'm going to show you some pictures to help you remember that. So here's the first picture. And it says, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times. So this is a picture of friends. Have you got a friend? I think everybody's got a special friend, right? So this is our first picture, a friend. So you can pretend that you're holding hands with your friend. You could hold your own hand and you could say a friend. And then we'll put that picture up there. What was the next part of the memory verse? A friend loves. So a friend loves. You could touch your heart. You could cross your heart and you could say loves. A friend loves, when does a friend love? Does a friend love when you play kindly? Does a friend love when you're feeling sad? Does a friend love only at pre-kites? No, the Bible tells us in God's word that a friend loves at all times. And we put a clock on here because the clock represents time. So in the morning, a friend loves in the afternoon, 
a friend loves. At lunchtime, a friend loves. So God's word, the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17, a friend, so you can hold hands, a friend loves at all times. Let's see if you can remember that this week and next week with your mum or your dad, or maybe you're, you are doing some learning with your nanny at home. A friend loves at all times. Hi friends, today we're going to read a story called Friends. And this is a story about some friends who are together a lot of the time, but sometimes they can't be together. And we thought this would be a good story to start our stories off because we can't be together right now, but we can be together on our computers or on your device that you're watching on. And um, so let's read this story about three little friends. Can you see what friends might be in this story? I think there might be a rooster and I think there might be a little tiny mouse. And this little guy here, his name is Fat Percy and he is a little pig. So let's see what adventures these friends get up to. Are you ready to come on an adventure with me? I hope so. So this, the person who wrote the story and drew the pictures is called Helm Hine. And this story is called Friends. And here are the little friends going on an adventure. Every morning when Charlie Rooster strutted into the barn to wake the other animals, Johnny Mouse and Fat Percy went with him to help Good friends always stick together. They said, when this job was done, they wheeled their bicycle out of the barn and set off for their morning ride. There they are waking their friends up in the barn. They could ride down the roughest paths and up the steepest cliffs no curve was too sharp for them and their bicycle. No puddle was deep enough to stop them. Can you ride a bike? Do you have training wheels on your bike? Or have you taken your training wheels off and you can ride your bike with just two wheels? One day they played a game of hide and seek by the village pond. We love playing hide and seek in our house. Can you see the little mouse is hiding here? While Johnny Mouse was hiding, he discovered an old boat lying in the tall grass. He showed his friends and they decided to play pirates. Good friends always decide things together, they said. And there's the boat that they found. And then they decided to play pirates. Can you see Fat Percy? He's got a pirate badge on and I bet he's saying, hi me hearties. Let's see what else these friends get up to. Johnny Mouse took the tiller. Charlie Rooster opened his wings to make the sail and Fat Percy plugged up the hole in the side of the boat by sitting on it. And there they are, sailing across the lake. They sailed out on the open water, and as the day went on, they felt very brave and bold. They conquered the village pond. Can you see some of the ducks that nearly got in the way? They had a big day of being pirates, right? But hunger finally sent them back to the shore. First they tried to catch a fish, but their tummies rumbled so loudly that they frightened all the fish away. So they didn't get fish for their lunch. I wonder what they're going to have for their lunch. 
Then they went looking for cherries. They shared them, some for Johnny Mouse, some for Charlie Rooster, and twice as many for Fat Percy. Johnny Mouse didn't mind, but Charlie Rooster complained. He said it was unfair. So they gave him the cherry stones. Friends are always fair, they said. There they are, eating their cherries. So that's what they had for lunch. They had cherries. They ate so many cherries that they all got a sore tummy and had to sit down for a while before they started back on their bike. There they are sitting down because they all had a very sore tummy. As evening fell and the shadows grew longer, they bicycled home. Have you ever looked at your shadow on your driveway and see how it gets longer? They were watching their shadow as they were riding home. Their shadows were very long in the afternoon. Behind the hen house near the water barrel, they swore to be friends forever. Good friends always stick together, they said. There they are. They decided to spend the night in Johnny Mouse's house, but Charlie Rooster got stuck in the doorway. He wouldn't fit into the little tiny mouse's house. Then Fat Percy invited them to spend the night with him. But Johnny Mouse said he didn't want to sleep in a pigsty. Ew. It was a bit stinky in the pigsty for Johnny Mouse. I wonder where they're going to sleep. Finally, Charlie Rooster suggested sleeping in the hen house. They tried to rest on a perch high above the ground. But guess what? The perch broke. So sadly, they said good night to each other and went to their own beds. Sometimes good friends can't be together, they said. And there they are on the hen house, but it broke. And they decided that they couldn't be friends together tonight, so they had to sleep in their own houses. But that night they dreamed about each other the way that good friends do. So even when they couldn't be together, they could dream about each other and still remember their special day with their special friends. Do you know, Mrs. Mugabe and Miss Black, we can't be with you right now, but we know that you're going to be great friends for us and you're going to have some great friends with each other. And we are so looking forward to the day that you can come to the pre-kites building. But do you know what? Miss Black has made some activities for you that you could do from this story. Maybe at your house you could play a game of hide and seek like the friends played. Or maybe you could make a pirate mask to cover your eye and be a pirate. So I sent that to your mums and dads and you could cut out a pirate mask. Or maybe you could get some chalk and trace around your shadow on your driveway in the morning and then trace around it again in the afternoon and see which one is longer, like a little science experiment. Just like the friends did, they could see the shadows were longer in the afternoon and they could um, see that it was longer. And so maybe you could do that on your driveway as well. So there's some activities that I'm gonna send home to your mums and dads to go with this book. So have lots of fun doing your schoolwork at home and I will see you next time for another story about friends. See you friends.